It's a brand new season of The Social. It feels so good. Join us for lively debates and trending topics. Boy, this is going to fire you up. Spicy day here on The Social, am I right? With your favorite stars and familiar faces. This is huge. Let's feel the liveness. You never know who will be sitting at our table. I want all of them. Thank you so much. Catch season 12 of The Social, September 4th at 2 p.m. on CTV. It's going to be really exciting. Also, we're going to find out how to throw a celestial-inspired get-together. So I hear there's a meteor shower or something coming. So we're going to throw the party for that viewing. Uh, thank you so much for every single one of you for being here. Uh, 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 physicists, they're just like us. Or are they? I'm in Waterloo, Ontario at the Perimeter Institute, which attracts the best and brightest physicists from around the world to find out. So Sabrina, you're a theoretical physicist. Yes, ma'am. Um, remind me, what is that? That means that we try to apply math to the real world. And we want to understand like consistent frameworks of how kind of the universe works. Uh, this summer school, celestial Liner. holography. Yes. And that is obviously. That's what I do. And yeah, you yeah. do, th you I do, do that. it. I do that, yeah. So, like, what is that? Okay, so let's unpack those two words. So celestial is night sky, literally night sky. Gotcha. Uh, holography is a way of us cheating when we want to understand a theory of quantum gravity. So basically, we are taking things that have been distilled from string theory and these like weird 10 dimensional like theories of everything. We're roughly trying to be everything. What is the greatest mystery of the universe that you would like to solve? I want to help then us be more responsible for kind of condensing and connecting the knowledge canon as it grows and it gets further away from experiments being able to test things. I'd like to solve how to make mayonnaise like from scratch. But you could also buy it. Yeah, you're so smart. <laughs> What do you do in your downtime? When I know nobody's around, which is not that often, I will sing really poorly in my office with piano. I like to walk. I like nature. Do you watch any reality TV? A lot of normal people do that. Not too much. I do watch reality TV. What shows? Perfect match. <gasps> Did you ever see the Disney movie, The Black Hole, when you were a kid? I didn't see that movie. I had a huge problem with the last Star Trek in which the opening scene has a, the Enterprise coming out of a black hole. Yeah, right. And the definition of a black hole is precisely that, that which, which from nothing, nothing can ever come out. Exactly what I was gonna so, say. What sign are you? Oh, no, 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 that's not a physics question. That's not exactly a physics question, and we're not here to do physics either. We're here to appreciate the magic and beauty of the night sky. Yeah, and that is why the celestial entertaining trend is taking the world by storm. So we are continuing our Olympic celebrations by attempting a few culinary hurdles. We're going to be taste testing recipes that we wouldn't normally eat if we knew what was in them. What? What? Oh, that should be good. Also, we're going to... What? <laughs> I was like, what? What? We're also going to be learning about all the latest workplace trends, including one called the dry promotion and ways to navigate it. Mm. And a reminder today, 4.30 p.m. Eastern, Jess Allen is back hosting another episode of Caftans in the Kitchen on our Instagram account. It is always so much fun to tune in. Thank you so much for joining us today, a beautiful audience. And thank you for tuning in wherever you're watching us as well. We're going to see same time, same place.